Okay, hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reap a flower with the Grizzle version 4.1. It's the one right here that we are sending in our Tindy store, uh, Trilobites uh, Retro. So basically, we need to connect the Grizz Whistle to the USB. This is a Windows 10 machine and it uses a USB-C uh, cable and connector as you can see there and here we just have a standard uh, IBM PC floppy drive we're going to show you how to rip a copy protected game this is uh, the original Lemmings game uh, it is a 720k uh, <clears throat> uh, floppy, floppy disk with some special copy protection and this is just our blind floppy that we're going to use to, to basically copy it so first of all, the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to plug the uh, grease whistle. As you can see, we have uh, two jumpers here. This jumper here tells me that I'm allowing to write disks. That's for if you are very worried about writing the wrong disk uh, and you want to go read only and be very safe, you need to remove that jumper right there. But this jumper is important because the jumper is uh, the five volt jumper. And it's basically saying that the grease whistle should power the the floppy drive, right? So we are not using external power, but basically powering the floppy drive through this cable here. Yeah? So basically, the five volt line comes through the through the red wire. So the grease whistle is powering this uh, floppy drive. Now we're going to connect it. So as you can see, it was detected, and you should see. Uh, a red led over there okay so this should be up and running now what you need to do is to download the host tools the host tools are right here uh, that is the address and you uh, get the one for your platform I, I got the win 64 version because this is Windows 10 right and I basically downloaded it and I got the command line tools now I'm going to get into that directory because I just downloaded it I'm going to do CD Grease Whistle 121. Okay, so this is the latest version of the host tools. Let's take a look at it. So basically the, the only thing that you need to use here is gw.exe, as you can see there. And so this is the last, latest version of the host tools and the, the Grease Whistles that we are shipping is, are the latest hardware design, version 4.1, and basically using the latest firmware which at the moment of this uh, recording is 1.6, but you can obviously update it uh, as, as, you, as they put out new versions. You can just basically uh, change this jumper here, jumper on the very top of this header horizontally, and you have it in, uh, in DFU mode uh, for you to be able to uh, flash the new firmware with the Artery software. Okay, there's also a way to do that via software, but we're not going to take a look at that. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I want to show you that this uh, that this thing is working. So I'm going to put the Lemmings, uh, the Lemmings disk here. This is the original disk for Lemmings, copy protected. And I'm just going to do uh, GW RPM. So it's spinning, I basically show me almost 300 as, uh, for the RPM. It should be uh, perfect for, for a PC uh, floppy. Um, an Atari ST floppy, for example, has 288. So this 300 RPM is great. But the thing is that we managed to make it run. And as you can see, I'm using a twisted cable floppy drive. So I took this cable straight from a PC, from an IBM PC. And I just place it here. And this is exactly the cable that you need for driving the grease whistle if you're going to work with IBM PC floppies, which is my, my main line of work, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to read this floppy drive, but using the raw flux. So basically we're, we're telling the software just read the surface of the disk. Don't worry about the format or anything like that. Basically read the surface of the disk at a specific RPM and grab everything, right? So for copy protected disks, that's awesome. This is basically going to grab everything 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read and put it in a file called Lemmings SCP. I'm specify specifying the number of trucks. You need to specify that. And I'm saying that the speed is going to be 300 RP RPM. I already show you that this drive is basically working at 300 RPM. That should be the same case for, for anybody using uh, IBM PC uh, floppy drives. So I'm going to hit enter here. And as you can see, it is reading the raw flux of the disk, right? And it's actually very fast. This should, I think this should, should end at 39 as we sing all the, 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 those were the tracks. So let's see. Look that now we have the LED, the other LED, the, bl the blue LED in this case, showing the, the read operation and we have the drive working perfectly, right? So let's see, now it's done. Now if you take a look, you will see that we have a Lemmings SCP file that it's almost nine megs. Check out that reading the flux provides much more data than just the data for the, for the files of the Lemmings game. Basically we are, we are reading so at the super high uh, granularity, you know? So basically the file is almost 10 megs, okay? So now we're going to do, we're going to remove it, okay? And we're going to place just a 720K disk, which is obviously not right protected. But it's basically standard disk. I think I grabbed this from, a, from an Amiga uh, spare disk that I had. So there you go. And now what I'm going to say is simple, just write the file. We're not going to tell uh, the system that this is PC, that this is IBM, that this is nothing. We're going to tell uh, the system just take the SCP, which is raw, and write it raw on top of this disk, okay? So that's what we're going to do. GW write lemmings SCP, enter. So as you can see, this is very fast. We got some noises there. This is working, as you can see, the the LED there, uh, the blue LED is also signaling the right operation, okay? So we are done, we're basically done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to test this game. Okay? Hopefully this is a mirror copy of this copy protected Lemmings game, so it's basically exactly the same, okay? So let's go to my machine. I have an IBM PS1 and another room, okay? I have it right here. So this is uh, an IBM PS1 2121. As you can see, we have Windows 3.1. Let's just leave, okay? All right, so I installed Lemmings here already in the C uh, drive Lemmings directory and basically did a disk copy and obviously it wasn't working. The game reads, uh, needs the floppy to be there and it needs to be the original floppy. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to do CD Lemmings. Okay, so basically I did an install with the original disk and then I was trying to just use it with this disk here, a copy, and it wasn't working. Just a standard copy wasn't working, okay? So it's BGA Lemmy. BGA Lemmy, I want the, the BGA game, just going with one PC compatible. And now take a look at this. It's going to read the disk. Okay, and basically it worked. If you have just a disk that it's um, uh, just a disk copy version, just a standard disk copy version, basically tells you the original disk is not in the drive and puts you out of the game, right? So this is what I wanted to show you, basically how to uh, copy a disk with Grizzle and make an exact uh, copy, like uh, bit by bit, of, uh, by reading the flux of the disk uh, surface. Hope this was useful to you, and just go, uh, just come back and check our Tindy store, uh, 3 Lobites Retro. Thank you.